Hey guys, we're back here with another fun art video. Um, so as you guys know, we're all home from school for a while, uh, but we want to keep things fun and exciting and give you something creative to do, something to do with your hands and make stuff. Um, so Esme here is with me today and she's been home Hello. for two and a half weeks now. Have you found time to do other things besides yeah. schoolwork? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what do, you have, what do you have time to do now? Uh, play with toys and play outside. Yes. Yeah, the weather's been nice recently, so playing outside is good. Lots of toy time. Um, so speaking of toys, that's what we're going to be using today for our lesson, okay? So that's why we have some really cool, fun toys here. Um, some old toys from when I was a kid, like the Rubik's Cube and our Star Wars guys. We got... My son Emmett made this cool Lego car. Is that from Back to the Future? Yeah. Yeah, and then we got some of Esme's favorite types of toys. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, is everyone's going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with. That could be a Sharpie, a pen, a pencil, a crayon. It doesn't matter. And something to color with. So I have some colored pencils here and a bunch of your favorite toys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video. You guys are going to run, grab your paper, grab your utensils, your supplies, and some toys that will fit on your paper. Okay, so go grab your favorite toys and we'll meet back here. All right, so we're back. You have some toys? Yes. Yeah, what kind of toys did you get? I got these little critters. I got a Barbie and I got this little thing. That little guy. So you have a lot of, a lot of fun, fun toys. Are those some of your favorite toys? Yes. Yeah, yeah. you usually like Barbies. You've been playing with those for a long time. Um, when I was a kid, some of my favorite toys were Star Wars figures. And we even still have one of my favorites from when I was a kid. This is one of the originals. This is the X-Wing from Star Wars. And still, you push down on R2 here, it still pops open. It doesn't always stay. This thing is probably 40 years old and it's still holding up. So... Toys are fun, toys stick around a while, so you know, drop that over there. But I'm older now and a little bit, I don't want to say more mature, but um, interests have changed. So my favorite kind of toys right now are art supplies. So I got some scissors, some markers, tape, paint brushes. These are the kind of things I play with now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be tracing these on our paper. So what we're going to do is take one toy at a time. I'm going to start with the glue because it has kind of a distinct shape. You're going to lay that on your paper. Okay. However you want. However you want. So if you want to make her put her arms up or anything like that, you can. But so these are three dimensional things, but we're going to flatten them out. So it's just going to be a line outline around it. Okay. So I'm going to show you my first one, I'm gonna go ahead and trace right around this glue bottle. Don't worry about it being perfect. Okay, because we're gonna kinda of lose that definite shape as we go on, okay? So here, so I traced my glue bottle, you're working on your Barbie. Nice. And sometimes you might need to have somebody help hold it for you so you can get all the way around it without it moving. And if you go off the side of your paper, don't worry about it, no problem. Very cool. Nice, all right. Is yours good? I think so. All right, let's hold it up so we can see what shape it made. All right, cool, kind of an abstract, flattened out shape. Nice, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill up our whole paper by tracing all of these toys, okay? And you're gonna overlap them, so I might put a brush on top of this, so I'll trace right over top of it. We're gonna trace all around the outside of these, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll keep moving through here.
Okay, you have your toy, your toys traced on there? Yeah. Yeah, all right, I have all of my art supplies traced on here. So let's see what you, show us what you got. Nice. Cool, so since we overlapped so many of our shapes, we came up with all these new little abstract shapes, right? So this circle is kind of cut through with part of my paintbrush. So all of these little pieces and all of your cool little abstract organic pieces, we're gonna color those in with different colors. So I've got a box of pencils here. We're gonna just start coloring in each of these individual little shapes with different colors, okay? Okay. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna jump right in. Start to fill in some of these little shapes. I have a lot of shapes, so mine might take a while. I have one big shape. <laughs> Would you rather have one big shape or a bunch of little shapes? A bunch of little shapes. Oh, yeah. Since I have so many shapes, I'm just going to color a few at a time with the same color. And remember, this is a good activity to work on using lots of different colors, staying inside the lines, um, working on filling in the whole section and not just part of it seeing what colors look good together, what colors don't look good together. Okay. All right. All right, are you finishing up yours? Yeah. Yeah, you got lots of colors on there? Yeah. Yeah, good. All right, I'm almost done with mine too. I'm on my last little piece here. So see how all of these little pieces that we made are different colors now, where they overlap? You can still kind of see the original shape of what you drew, but it kind of turns into this big abstract color field type thing. Cool. So we got, you can still see that these were scissors, but now they have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 13 different colors in that one pair of scissors. Oh, huh. wow. Cool. All right. So I think we're about finished with these. What do you think? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So we're all finished with our toy tracing project. All right. What did you think of that? It was fun. It was fun. Do you think you could do other ones with different toys? Yes. Yes, there are endless possibilities. You could do toys, you could do art supplies, you could do things you find outside like leaves and sticks and stuff like that. Um, so endless possibilities. Super simple. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. Paper, something to color with, and something to trace over. So, all right. Hope you guys have fun with that one, and we'll see you back here next time.